What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Flicking on My Big Tarot. Here where I bring you the beauty, juice, and spiritual truth. I am your spirit guide host, Miss DC. And today, you guys, I am back with another general reading for the sign of Virgo. Please understand this will not apply to every single Virgo, as every single Virgo is not going through the same scenario. Cross watches, anybody outside the Virgo energy, you're more than welcome to join in. So, never please utilize this information for the most positive purpose. Spirits want me to talk to you, so I will be talking to you guys with um my oracle and tarot card debts as well as another variety okay for any more information all of that will be in the description box below without further ado virgo i'm talking to you if this is so drop a tip in my cash app and let me know like share and subscribe like share and subscribe this is my number what oracle card deck. If you don't, you motherfucking better. Okay. Yeah. 11, 11. Alignment, new opportunities, rapid manifesting, light bulb activation, next level. So I feel like maybe you're getting an alignment with what you're supposed to be doing in life like the ways you're supposed to go, how you're supposed to do everything, whether it's go to this job for this amount of time and then live in this area while doing this outside in the community. And then you're kind of like moving and shifting that into um, traveling a little bit more or staying in other countries or just you know, putting yourself in, in in alignment with what you're needing to do, letting go of baggage so that you have more room to you know run. Take action. I feel like you all are taking action. I see the number one seems to be um, popping out to me. Something about the number one. Something about the number one. But I feel like, yeah, there might be a new opportunity that's going to present itself. And you, you might need to just go ahead and take action on it, whether it be... Um, you know, just answering or responding to whatever this may be. There's some form of action that needs to be taken or um, will need to be taken. Okay. Press pause, reflect on what you've learned. Yeah. So I feel like you're getting into alignment and you have to, you know, slow your mind down to really understand what it is that you're doing, the moves that you're making. You know, is what I'm doing suitable for my life? Is what I'm doing, you know, benefiting me in any way form or fashion? Does this help my life in any way? Or does this put me into alignment with what I feel I should be doing? Virgos be thinking. I'm a Virgo moon. So that emotional um, roller coaster that we go through with ourselves, that little depression, that, you know, hermit kind of thinking all the time. This is how Aquarius and Virgos kind of um, favor each other. It's that 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 thinking situation. It's that CPU, you know, in our heads that just always asking questions, always seeking knowledge or wanting to know and understand something. You know, instead of trying harder, try differently. What did I say? Take an action, take a new course, try something different. Try something different, nothing wrong with it. You know, but you all are earth sign, very, very much practical, very much hands-on. So it's like, like I said, just try something different. There are multiple ways of doing almost everything. Hold on a second. All right, Virgo, I'm back. Okay, so yeah, um, I don't really remember where I left off at, but yeah, I just see the number one is significant. I feel like you are coming into alignment with yourself. Like you just, you might need a little extra push or whatever the case is. I feel like travel. Maybe you're about to travel somewhere. Maybe you're about to take like a little vacation or a shortcation, you know, um, Don't be petty. Take action, but don't be petty about it. I feel like whatever it is that you need to take action on, Spirit is saying, don't be petty about it. Take action, but don't be petty. Like, 
Let's see. Bottom of the deck, fulfillment. Okay, press pause to reflect on what you've learned. So maybe you can gain some fulfillment in your life. If you take a second and see, well, you know what? This is not working. Like, this is really not working. What do I need to do? Take a second, pause, and reflect on what you learned. Think about the things that got you what you had. What did you have to do? Did you have to discipline yourself? Did you have to cut off people? Um, did you have to spend more time? Like, did you dedicate? Like, what did you do? You know what I'm saying? In situations that brought you fulfillment. Take yourself back to that place in order to gain that fulfillment. But I see you all doing that. I see you. It's just like, it's hard. It's change is very, change is very difficult, but change is good. Change is necessary. Change will happen. It's like, maybe you're upset about the good things that you have. Maybe you are sitting and reflecting like, it's like, damn, I have all of this. How did I get all of this? And how do I get more of it? You know? Yeah, so there's a wife. There's a feminine energy here that I feel like, it's like you're fine, but I feel like you're upset that they're not doing what you want them to. This person, they don't really have a foundation. Um, this is someone who is kind of unbalanced. Maybe they don't give the best nurturing advice. You know, this is... Somebody who's sharp with their words, maybe. I feel like, but this person is possibly financially unstable. I feel like this person is financially unstable. And I feel like you're mad. You're mad that they don't have no money. <laughs> you're mad that this person don't have no money, but you got the money. It's like, I got money and I'm trying to give you money but without me having to give you money. Like I'm trying to help you get your own fucking money so that you don't need me to get your money. And this, person, and this person is just not trying to do it. I feel like there's a feminine energy around you that is really not good with their finances. Like this person is really not good with their finances. But you're negatively attached to them and you're about to travel to go see them or maybe they want to travel to come see you, but this is very, very toxic. I feel like you both are going to be traveling somewhere. So I feel like you're in a good place. This person is not, but I feel like you and this person have to be in the same place or you're in the same place at, no, I feel like both of you, this to me seems like someone, you all have to travel to a particular place together and maybe one of you doesn't want to. I feel like, I feel like both of you have to travel somewhere out of state. No car. Like, so you all like, this is like a fucked up car. So maybe your car is messed up and you have to travel. Cause like, look, it says, don't be petty. And he's in the car driving and the picture was taken while he was asleep so it's like don't be petty and i see like a car and see i see two people in a car but it's like two it's like two toxic people in one in one place or um maybe you all have okay so okay so what i'm getting is 
I feel like you and this person might be in two separate places. I'm just picking up two. You see how he got two is two people. It's two, um, two pairs. You see that two pairs. I'm just seeing something about two. You and somebody that you're connected to somebody in a toxic way. And you all have to travel somewhere together. And I feel like maybe somebody is being petty about it. One person is being petty and one person don't even really want to fucking be there. I think it's like maybe um, child custody. It could be, um, uh, you all could be flying to court or flying somewhere to see a family or I get like a therapist seeking a therapist. Maybe you both have to go together to seek a, you all, uh, maybe you have to get on a plane because the chariot is the car, like the, the, the wagon that takes you from point A to point B, but it's in the reverse. So something is going to come to a halt very quickly. I feel like action is going to be taken and something is going to, it's like, it's going to be quick, fast and done. But I feel like you and this person, it's like, you don't even want to go. It's like, I don't want to go. And this person don't even got the fucking funds to go. But you both have to go. This person is being petty and you just don't want to, but you all both are connected to each other. Maybe you all have kids together or maybe you all are married and you're trying to get out of the marriage and maybe you have to, maybe I feel like you two are in separate places. Cause, okay, so I know a Virgo who was married with kids and lived in one particular place. Then after the divorce happened, one person went to one state and the other person went to the other state. And so now they both have to go possibly to this first initial place. Okay. And somebody is really, really fearful, paranoid. I don't know if it's you or if it's them, but somebody is paranoid. Somebody is thrown off balance. Virgo I feel like you're fine but they're just like freaking out or maybe this is if you're freaking out um if you're freaking out I feel like so are they or maybe you're faking a panic or acting like you're in a panic so this person can panic I feel like I feel like there's a certain level of mind games being played here if you don't, shoot better, Virgo. 